plank. So we're going to make a plank. So you're starting in a high plank. From here, you want to have your, sh um, your hands shoulder width, not here. Shoulder width, directly below your shoulders. Fingertips, um, not fingertips, index fingers, pointing fingers should be parallel. So look at your hands. If your index fingers look like they're going to point together at some point, if they were to make lines in front of them, that's wrong. They need to be on train tracks, index fingers on train tracks. You might find you need to turn your hands out a little bit. Take your shoulders very slightly, very, very slightly behind your wrists. So rather than being direct, directly over your wrist creases, slightly behind. Claw the ground with your fingertips. Feet back into your plank. Now take your feet wide. So we've got sh um, hand shoulder width. We're going to take feet wide, like that. Okay? Wide feet. And then push the energy. So if you watch my heels, my heels are above my toes at the minute. Push back into your heels. Imagine like you're trying to over straighten your legs. So we've got soft knees here, super, super strong um, leg extension there. Then you're going to come down, bend your arms. As you come back up, re straighten your legs. Push so, st super strongly in your legs, like you want to make your thighs cramp up because you're pushing that strongly into your legs to do your press up. Don't think of the press up as an arm exercise. Try and think of it more as a leg exercise. You're still working your arms, don't worry. But that will make it a full body exercise. So if you watch how easy these look, because I'm using my legs, if I take my legs out of it, lean my weight forwards over my hands, I'm much heavier on the front of my body if I do that. If I take my weight backwards, that takes the weight out of the front of my body to where I'm stronger in my lower body. 